Hello, welcome to the knowledge series of IT Part Chala. In this tutorial video, we will be discussing the software development lifecycle module of our knowledge series. This video is divided into two parts. Today, we will be discussing the first part of the software development lifecycle and we will talk about what software development lifecycle is and why is one needed. We will also be looking at software development lifecycle as a tool for development and the factors responsible for its proper implementation which will help you in knowing the importance of software development lifecycle in a software professional's life. Well, software development lifecycle is popularly known as SDLC. The software development lifecycle is a system used during the creation of a software program. Software development lifecycle ensures that we produce more function with higher quality in less time with fewer resources and in a predictable manner. There are a number of different software development lifecycle models that are used and each of them showcases a number of procedures that can be used during the development of software. However, every software development lifecycle model consists of the all or some of the following six phases. Analysis, design, development or coding, testing, implementation, maintenance. Analysis phase. This is the first and most important stage in the development. The analysis phase includes the definition of the intended system, development of the project plan and parallel management of the plan throughout the proceedings. A detailed document called function specification is prepared containing the following information. Outputs to be produced, inputs that must be received, Procedure to get the intended outputs from the given inputs. Audit and control requirements. This specifies the features that are required to ensure that the user can monitor the system to check if it is working properly. System acceptance criteria. This lists the tests that the user would actually perform to check conformity with the previously agreed performance requirements and other specifications before accepting the system. Design phase. At this point, the emphasis changes from defining the user's requirements to defining how the system will work. The documentation developed is technical and is referred to as design specification. The design documentation should specify the following. How each input, output, operation and audit control requirement will be handled. Acceptance, test, plan or schedule. Facilities, equipment and personnel required. Manual procedure required to operate the system. Development or coding phase. The development phase includes three activities. Completing and testing computer programs and operating instructions for using the package. Performing all tasks to carry out the conversion from the system currently in use to the new system. Conducting the final testing of the system to determine if it is performing according to the acceptance criteria established during the analysis phase. Testing phase. Testing is a course of completing a program or system with the intention of finding errors. It involves any activity aimed at approaching an attribute or capability of a program or system and determining that it meets its required output. Implementation phase. It is the final stage of initial development where the software or program is installed and made operational in a production environment. Maintenance phase. During this phase, the system becomes operational. The focus remains on ensuring that the user needs continue to be met and that the system continues to perform according to specifications. At this level, routine hardware and software maintenance and upgrades are performed to ensure effective system operations. User training continues during this phase as needed to acquaint new users to the system or to introduce new features to current users. Additional user support is provided as an ongoing activity to help resolve reported problems. We will be covering the remaining topics of software development lifecycle in the second part of this tutorial. In that video, we will talk about different software development methodologies in detail, including their benefits and limitations. 